Hello and welcome everybody to yet another video here on the channel. Today we're going to talk about the first update for Season 4. This is going to be the first weekly content refresh that we're going to get for Season 4 of Modern Warfare, so I'm really excited to get into it. Before we hop into the video today, just going to remind you guys to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you enjoy the content here on the channel, closing in on 5,000 subscribers, I'm really excited to hit that milestone and I thank all of you guys for the tremendous support here. If you guys are new to the channel, here I talk about Call of Duty updates, Call of Duty Intel, Call of Duty leaks, or just anything that has to do with the state of Call of Duty at any given time. With that being said, let's get right into today's content. First of all, let's talk about those game modes. New this week is going to be Gunfight 3v3 Snipers, Gunfight Blueprints, which is going to be slightly updated, as well as One in the Chamber and Realism Ground War is going to be making its return. In terms of the 3v3 Snipers only playlist, this is going to be a playlist that of course is only going to be available on those core gunfight maps. I did have the opportunity to play a few games on it and so far I have enjoyed it. Unfortunately for snipers, if you hope for this to be a bolt only playlist, this is not going to be that playlist. I have used the SKS and some of the automatic marksman rifles. This is not exclusive to the CAR-98 HDR and the AX-50 in any way. But fortunately, there are some of the new gunfight maps, so if you're somebody who doesn't like to play the gunfight maps in the regular playlist or doesn't like gunfight blueprints, this is a good alternative mode for you to try out the brand new bunker map, or you can try out Isle 9 from last season's mid-season update. Moving on into the gunfight blueprints game mode, I did get a game or two of that in as well. It does seem like they have updated a few of the blueprints in the game to reflect some of the newly added blueprints within in the most recent update. I myself really want the classic gunfight to come back, not a huge fan of gunfight blueprints, but if you do want to try out some blueprints that you do not have access to or have to purchase in the shop, this is a good playlist to play with a buddy if you want to play on, once again, the gunfight maps that have been introduced with the last few updates. Next up is going to be one in the chamber. This is going to be returning from Treyarch's Call of Duty games. We have not yet seen this in an Infinity Ward game. However, it is coming back with, I guess, a little bit of an Infinity Ward twist. Previously, in old Black Ops games, you would only have like 1911s and pistols. In this version of One in the Chamber, you are going to get assault rifles and submachine guns with one shot, one kill potential on them, and every time you kill an enemy, you are going to get another bullet added into the chamber, very similar to the original One in the Chamber game mode from Treyarch. If you are watching this video soon after the update did drop, there is a bug in this game mode where people can join indefinitely and get all three respawns, which basically makes the game go on for the full 10 minutes. I have been told that this is a bug that is being looked at and should be fixed by the time most of you watch this video. So if you are watching this video Wednesday or Thursday, June the 17th or June the 18th, this playlist should be a lot of fun and be working as intended. But if you are playing it on the 16th, be wary that the mode might not work as intended and people may join the game over and over again in order to get more lives. As a quick little snippet, I'm just going to shave over Realism Ground War. That is back. If you are into the Realism playlist, this is for you. I don't know if you have any health degradations, but what I do know is that the HUD is completely off in this game mode and you get no HUD notifications whatsoever. So if you are into Realism mode, then this is for you. Realism Ground War will be back for a limited time. Also, as a quick little side note, if you are a Ground War player and do not like Realism, it does seem at this time there is no alternative to Realism Ground War as the official Ground War playlist has been converted over to Realism. So hopefully if you are into just the base Ground War, that will be back within the week. But a little piece of advice, it might not be a full replacement in your heart, but if you are a Ground War player, you can always try out the Warzone Rumble playlist, which is a 50 versus 50 playlist, very similar to base Ground War. However, it's on a much more condensed map. Moving towards the Warzone updates, it does appear that Plunder will be returning on Thursday, June the 18th. Now, I'm not 100% on this, but this also could be releasing alongside the new Intel missions for week two of Warzone. Many people, including myself, were in fact expecting the Tuesday update or the playlist update to include the new Intel missions for Warzone, but that does not seem to be the case. So with Plunder returning on Thursday, we could see another midday update at approximately 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. On the flip side, these 
could also refresh at Thursday 2 a.m. Eastern Time, which is 11 o'clock p.m. Wednesday 4 Pacific Time. Of course, I am unaware at this point when they are planning on releasing the Warzone Intel missions, but of course it's going to be weekly at this point and I have some intel that it will be a total of 5 weeks of challenges, which will hopefully lead up into a much larger easter egg that will change the entire map. Of course, if you want any more information when it comes to the easter egg, I am tracking it pretty vigorously here on the channel, so stay tuned here for more intel as soon as it comes up. Last but not least, I'm just going to touch up on the brand new store items. The first one is going to be the Wendigo pack, which is going to include a brand new Taiga skin for Kruger. Looks really cool. The pack costs 2400 COD points. It's going to include obviously that Kruger skin and it's going to have an ice theme, which is going to include a theme charm, a theme spray, themed emblems, and of course it's going to have two new blueprints of those being an ice themed assault rifle, the SCAR and an ice themed submachine gun being the Striker 45. It's also going to come with an ice pick melee weapon, but what's most exciting to me is the operator finishing move being the Sasquatch dog finishing move and it is absolutely badass. Aside from this, they also added in another pack, the Notice Me 3 pack, which is going to be another anime pack, which is cheaper than the first pack, being only 800 COD points, and it's going to include the Dream Dasher Striker 45 blueprint, which looks absolutely amazing. I really do like this blueprint, and for anyone who's into anime, this is actually a really good looking blueprint. Anyways, with all of that being said, that is going to conclude the first update for Season 4. Let me know in the comments down below what you you guys are expecting to see later into the season and what you guys are also expecting to see later this week or even next week with that all being said that'll be it for today don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already and stay tuned for more call of duty news including the second week of intel locations which i will upload as soon as those go live anyways hopefully i'll be seeing all of you guys in the next video